Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Um, today, uh, I know what you're thinking. You look a little crazy, Taylor. Why is like, you're, ooh, not crazy. Does that highlight pop in? Um, why is half your face done and you are not wearing any eye makeup? Well, I'm about to tell you. Today, I am doing my Ipsy bag unbagging. Um, yeah. So, I just got my Ipsy bag literally like two days ago and I haven't used any of the products because I wanted to try them all first out on camera with you guys. But um, the reason why it's coming so late is because I um, lost my debit card a couple weeks ago. And so, you know, when you lose your debit card, you have to like update everything that's like monthly billing and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, um, so pretty much everything I got in my Ipsy bag is all eye products, so that's why I did my face already. Um, this is what the Ipsy bag looks like this month. It's pretty cute. The only thing I'm not going to be using today is this. This is the Chlorine Shampooing Sec dry shampoo with oat milk so it looks like this I'm kind of like really kind of really I'm really happy they sent me this I really liked my last um dry shampoo that I had so and I've been getting more into dry shampoo lately I've been trying to wash my hair less and like just take better care of it so I'm really excited to start using more dry shampoo like I said um I did get my hair done recently if you have not noticed um so I haven't washed my hair this week since I got it done, but um, I'm gonna try this out maybe tomorrow. If you guys don't follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, you definitely should do that. Um, my Instagram's at underscore T Weber with one B, and my Snapchat is Taylor Bug with six Ys and two Gs. I'm sorry, I made it in high school, and um, for some reason, they are changing all this stuff on Snapchat, but they still haven't changed it so you can change your username, which is super annoying. I really don't smell anything. Is that crazy? Um, other than that, everything else I can use. So I'm really excited. The first couple things that we're going to use are, I got this little Pacifica little eyeshadow palette. How cute is this? It's um, called the Beach Crystal. I'm really excited about this. I really like the brand Pacifica. Um, if you haven't seen, I've used their um, blush a lot. I got it also in an Ipsy bag. Here are the colors. They're really cute. Um, not necessarily all these I would lean towards. Ooh, shit. Girl, I just dug into that. Ooh, they're really soft. They look like they have good pigmentation, so that's what we're gonna try out first. And they also sent me a little brush, which I love. It's a double-ended Luxie 249. Looks like we have a fluffy, like, blending side. And then this one looks good for, like, packing colors on the lid. So that's super exciting. Let me prime my eyes with some uh, concealer and powder, and we will get going. Okay, so there really is no, like, uh, setting color shade. So I'm just gonna take this ColourPop... I think I love you um, eyeshadow palette and I'm going to start by like putting this like cream color all over my lid and this color right here is a transition shade just because it looks like all these shades in the palette are glittery so yes that's what we're going to be doing so I'm going to take the fluffy blending side and go into that uh, transition color I just showed you guys and I think I'm really gonna like this because I've gotten Luxie brushes before and I All right, so now that we have a good little base down, I'm gonna go in with this like, uh, I'm gonna go in with this brownish shade right here. Oh my God. Talk about fallout, there is a shit ton of fallout with, oh God. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here on the same end of this brush to deepen out the corner inner outer Oh my god, I can't freaking talk today to uh, deepen up where I just put that shade because that looks like fucking shit This is gonna oh god, I was so excited for this video at the beginning Ew. Oh my god, this is turning awful. Okay, I'm just gonna use one of these shades. I'm gonna use this side, the more flat side, and just go in with that very first shade, this pretty like gold color. It is so much fallout, you guys. Ready? 
Like, I hope you can see that. And I'm even gonna give it a fair shot. I'm gonna take some little Max Fix Plus. Wait. I literally just put color on the brush and since I like flicked it, there's nothing. Let's try again. Maybe I won't. Oh my gosh. This is turning into a disaster. All right, wish me luck. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, it's not moving. You guys, what the hell? Well, I wanted to use the brush because like, it came in my Ipsy bag. Let's just go in, finger swatch. It's literally, you guys, it, I don't even know how to describe the way this looks right now besides like shit, like pure shit. And then it almost looks like it's like breaking up on the eye. Like, I don't know, I guess it doesn't like you can't tell, but like, especially on this eye, like wherever I placed it, it just like stayed there and it just like didn't move. This eyeshadow palette is the worst thing ever created. Okay, Ipsy. I'm so mad right now, like, at the way this looks. I have to go take this off. Like, this is so bad. All right. I'm back. Um, let me reprime my eyes. I'll give this brush a fair chance with some eyeshadows that are not awful. So I cleaned off this side of the brush and this flat side. And since I'm just going to do, like, a simple eye look, I'm just going to use this to, like, flatten out my concealer. Okay, so I'm gonna set down the concealer again with the same brush and the same cream shade. Okay, so doing the same step as before, I'm going to take this brush and go into this transition shade up here, the light brown. The brush is okay, it's kind of not super soft and it's not doing exactly the what I want it to but it's definitely applying the color and um yeah so I'm just gonna deepen it up a little bit with this darker shade down here using the same brush the same side I'm just gonna like bring this down a little bit I don't really like this brush to be honest like in theory, it's nice like, to have like a dual-ended brush that you can kind of like do everything with, but um, it's just not super soft. <sighs> this Ipsy bag is not going as well as I thought it would, you guys. Okay. Uh... Alright, so good enough. I'm going to not really put a pop of color. I'm going to take this side. And just this is like my becoming in this palette in particular that I think I love you palette. I think the shade name is Rowdy. And this is literally like the best inner corner highlight ever. I'm like, oh my gosh. It's always something like we have something to live for. Whoa. That just applied way too much. Do not recommend this brush for applying inner corner highlight. Because it will get everywhere. You know, fuck it. I obviously look like a psychopath today. The next thing is this Mellow uh, Precision Pin Eyeliner. So it's a liquid felt tip eyeliner. Um, I guess we're going to wing it out today. I have the most simple eye look of all time. Yet I'm going to put a wing. Um, I, let's just see how it works. Oh. Okay, let me finish the other eye, and then I'll say what I feel about Um, okay. So, my eyeliner is not the same on both eyes, but let's just ignore that. This was not super easy to um, apply with, honestly. It skipped a lot, like, you know, like, it doesn't just glide on, like, uh, you know, nicely. You know what I mean? 
I don't know. It tugged a lot at my eyes. I mean, this one looks a lot better. Wait, what the fuck? It did dry down matte, and it is very black. So that's good, I guess. I might have to play around with this some more. I do love a good black eyeliner, but this... Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is like the worst Ipsy bag ever. Jeez Louise. Okay, last thing. Finally, we're almost done. This is a pure, fully charged mascara powered by magnet technology. Ooh, that's quite interesting. Um, So, let's just pop. Whoa. This wand is very interesting. Oh my god. Fuck, I forgot to curl my eyelashes. Alright, ah. Now that my eyelashes are curled, let's give this a real try. This is really making my eyelashes look long. It is a very wet mascara, but it is working really good. It is lengthening my freaking eyelashes a lot. All right, so that's the mascara. I like it a lot. That is probably my favorite thing from the bag. Um, Okay, so let's review the Ipsy bag, shall we? Um, the mascara was awesome. I really like what it did to my lashes. It lengthened them, it filled them. Um, so I give the mascara an A. I very much like that. This brush, um... I'd give this brush like a C. I don't know, the, the fluffy side didn't do, like it put the product down but uh, it kept skipping on my freaking eyes. Like, I don't know if I didn't set my concealer, like, primer base down enough, but this was not great. And this, like, yes, it did, like, put my inner corner highlight, but I, I probably won't be using it very much. This highlight, or, wow, oh my god. I need to, like, take a nap or something because I can't even talk. The eyeliner pencil, um, uh, liquid eyeliner um let's just see my wing and i know i'm not the best at wings but um are you kidding me uh, i give this a c minus probably i mean i'll try it again maybe like once but uh probably won't be reaching for that anytime soon <sighs> and then the eyeshadow palette i mean you guys this was a struggle today i don't really like anything except for the mascara to be honest so this ipsy bag was a fail Man, i really love ipsy and i'm not giving up on them quite yet um but yeah this one was a fail i'm sorry you guys and if this is your first video that you've seen of me please go watch another one because i swear i'm better at makeup than this so um that's all I have for you guys today. I am so sorry. Let me know what you guys got in your Ipsy. Anyways, on that note, I'm going to end this video. Thank you guys so much for sticking through it with me and watching this disaster. Um, I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>